first on Fox, a vigil has continued for hours tonight in honor of five children who died in an overnight fire in their home. Yeah, Fox News Chris Hayes joins us now from East St. Louis with more on this emotional gathering, Chris. Surely, Sandy, not only emotional, but also powerful with so many people standing for two and a half hours behind me. You can still see the candles burning in memory of the five siblings who died in that apartment fire. The community filled the area in front of the home starting right before sundown. Family, friends, even strangers gathered to light candles and pray. Amen. 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 We learned it's mom's birthday today. Then the aunt of the children stepped forward. She's broken. It's hard for us to just try to say the right things to her. What can we say? She took care of her kids. She loved those kids. Here's a picture of three of those children provided by their grandfather. That's Deontay on the left with his twin sisters, Heaven and Nevaeh, next to him. Four-year-old Jabari and two-year-old Loyal also died in the fire. Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox captured the fire when it broke out after 3 a.m. Friday near 29th and State Street. First responders on the scene reported the children were left home alone while a relative left to pick up another adult from work. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. Here's the grandfather of the children, followed by a neighbor who watched the tragedy unfold. I just, I just can't believe it, man. I don't know, but all I know is God got his day for everybody to come home, and I guess he took them all together. It broke my heart. It broke my heart so bad. I like that's gonna be the the only image in my head from now on. Them kids being brought up out of there. She was a good person. She was a good mother. Whatever. Um, I just, I just want to give my condolences to all of them because I mean I I understand that's that's a hurtful feeling to lose all of your children at one time. It hurts. I can like I'm literally feeling her pain for her. Though the vigil ended about 30 minutes ago, there are still about a half dozen people around me by their cars supporting each other. Often I saw people hugging in the middle of the street, sometimes people who didn't even know each other. Live in East St. Louis, Chris Hayes, Fox 2 News.